I'm not crying. You're crying. Stop. I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not allowed to cry yet. It's not okay. Good morning or good afternoon or maybe perhaps good evening. Whatever time that it may be. I'm just so happy that you're here with me. So sit back and relax. Take it slow. Welcome to the best day ever show. Good morning, good afternoon, maybe perhaps good evening. Welcome to the best day ever show. Um, I have a very wonderful, actually super special guest. She's um, some something fun that happens on cruise ships is that you meet people on a contract and then like you don't see them and then you go to your next contract and then there they are and you see them again. And so she's someone who's very special. Uh, she's my mom's favorite, probably above me, Eden from Australia. Hi. Yay. Yay. <laughs> this is awesome. Welcome, Eden. What is your job here on the Carnival Glory? So, I am actually part of the fun squad where we run all your trivias, we do your comedy club, we host bingos, and all that kind of thing. They do a lot. Everything. You see us everywhere. All the time. <laughs> my roommate, my first contract was fun squad, mm -hmm. and I was a musician, so I would just sleep all day. <laughs> and she would wake up at like 8 a.m. and change her shirt, have put her first shirt on and leave, and then come back, change her Second shirt for shirt. the next one, <laughs> come back, change her shirt, and then she'd come back around like noon, and I would pop out and be like, are you going to lunch now? And she's oh, like, I hate right you. you. Yeah, that was me. No, Actually, they work so hard. You know, you know, you know Corey. Uh, no. I'm going to give her a little shout. Corey Sheeman. Corey. She, Hi, yeah, Corey. She is a show band singer with Carnival. Okay. And we were roommates. Exactly the same thing. Yeah. Musician. <laughs> I hated her. I was like, I love you, Corey. I do. Deep down, I love you. She was on but her I, fourth <laughs> shirt, and I was like, the, turn the light up. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're ever on a cruise, and you see these crazy people running around with red shirts, be kind to them, because they are running on zero sleep, <sighs> and they still have smiles on their faces somehow. Always. Coffee. Um, what <laughs> How long have you worked for Carnival? Five years. I just hit my five, five years last year. month. What is, so five years, it's a lot of contracts. Mm -hmm. You've gone to a lot of places. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the great perks of this job is getting to travel and seeing different places. So I want to see if you can like rapid fire, 30 seconds, name as many places as you visited. Oh my God, okay. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, Belize, Cayman, Cozumel, Alaska, all the Alaskan ports. Um... Mediterranean, so Italy, France, Spain, and then if I want to like Germany. break that down, I'm out on Alpine Coast. Going. Name them all. Um, I went through the Panama Canal on my first contract. I still so that. I really want to do Costa Rica, it. Colombia. Ah, I'm just blank, but like so many places. So many places. It's crazy. So if you're thinking about whether or not to have this job, this could be you. You don't get a day off. <laughs> but look at all these. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you need to. You have, you have to rest. I have to rest the voice. <laughs> uh, have you been on inaugural ships yes. before? Which, I was which on one? the Carnival Vista. And so that's too. why we did the Mediterranean, because it was about five and a half months, and then we brought it over for the transatlantic cruise. And how um, is that, like, high stakes? Do you, do you feel pressure? What was it like... What was yeah. the environment <laughs> like or like the energy like? The when? energy was awesome. So opening up a ship is a very amazing experience. Like you could at least do it once with your jobs on cruise ships. Like you are known as the flagship. Yes, there is a bit of pressure because it is the brand new ship in the fleet and you need to have everything perfect. But we were like the guinea pig testers. So like now the Vista has been out for a little bit longer. There's a few things that have been changed here and there, but I had a blast. There's so much to do on it. I would love to be part of an inaugural team. Mm -hmm. like the Exile or the Panama. Um, yeah. Anybody hey, listening? Hey. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Eden is also a very special guest because Eden is, oh my gosh, I, my cheeks i have like don't no, i'm sorry no, no. <laughs> Eden's don't make me cry i I'm know like, i'm so sorry televised this thing. eden is leaving on saturday and she's hanging up her red polo yeah, to go for a little bit. to the land of snow um so eden's, land life. eden's a, one of the sh cruise ship success stories of <laughs> falling in love on a cruise ship and then doing long distance for a little bit Six and months then apart. now long. heading back to land do you, has that sunk in yet? Do you? No, it hasn't. Like, that's why I'm like, yeah. don't cry. But I'm like, I'm trying not to think about it I didn't think that was going to happen. My cheeks no. just tickled. Um, I think, obviously, you know how you get off the ship on the like, Miami day and you have a curfew to be back for boat trip. I think mm -hmm. if I don't have to be back at that curfew, I think that's when it's going to be like, yeah. This is it. Like, because that's when it usually hits me is when I'm not coming back for boat drill. Yeah. So you're heading to Canada. I am. Because you fell in love with a Canadian. I do. I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> what is something you think you're going to miss? the most about ship life Ooh, that's tough i'd have to say the people obviously you, you meet so many amazing people 
from ships just like lifelong friendships like mm -hmm. i still talk to people from my first contract and that was five years ago yeah and it's just it's that it's getting to travel and see different places on, on ships like we have room stewards who clean our rooms and food is always just available and maybe it's not always the food you want it to be but it's always available and so uh has that really sunk in like oh you're gonna have to make my own bed and cook my own food all i'm the okay time. with that yeah. i am so excited to get into a kitchen and just cook us meals all the time what's like, your favorite thing to cook on land Ooh, i i do like a good curry oh i love Except uh, Steve is allergic to coconut, so I can't make my chicken coconut curry. Steve, anymore. I know. What in the world? And he doesn't eat chocolate. He's allergic to chocolate. Get out! Just stay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're from a pretty sunny area. I am from Australia. <laughs> You've been sailing the Caribbean for so long, and now you're heading to, to Toronto. Where minus it's eight degrees. I, <laughs> <laughs> I found out today. It's it's minus really? eight right now. Oh though. my god. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited to I'm, see your Instagram. I'll be FaceTiming you. I'll be like, yeah. day, it was a lot colder here than I thought it was going to be. But I adapt well to all situations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I have the right jumpers, I have the right, sorry, sweaters. Sweater. Sweater. <laughs> sweater. I have the right sweater. Steve will really appreciate this one. A toque. A toque, yeah, right. I call it a beginning. Yes. Uh, me too. <laughs> see? It's not just me. All right. So, it's been five years of cruising around the world. What would you say is your absolute favorite port if you had to pick one? If I had to pick one, can I like do it in like different countries? <laughs> sure, okay, top three. Top, top three. three. Okay. <laughs> top three Mediterranean. Yeah. Starting off with the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Uh, Capri, Positano, and Sorrento were the three main ones we went mm -hmm. to. Um, absolutely beautiful. Like, I've only seen it on Instagram, but down. I believe you. <laughs> oh my God, you need to go. <laughs> Brian, want to. Hint, hint, you need to go. Uh, next one is probably Alaska, which is technically, I guess, part of the state still, yeah. right? Um, Alaska, Tracy Arm Fjord. So cool. I saw a bear for the first time. Again, only seen it on Instagram, but there I want to go. go. <laughs> yeah. Yep, Alaska. <laughs> and then in the Caribbean, I'd have to say Aruba. Oh, I love Aruba. I could live in yes. Aruba. It is one happy island, like they say. It really is. Yeah. And it's just happy. like the energy in the air right. there. And, really, yeah. and everything's cute. Like everything's yes. pink. Everything is pink. Yeah. yeah. It's all the different colors. I went skydiving there as well, which was like phenomenal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I've done it all. Never been skydiving. <laughs> what, what, what life am I living? I need to get on this. You meet and work with and talk to so many people. And one of the things I love about our job is that, like, this is people's vacations and celebrations. Mm -hmm. And, like, we get to be a part of people's memories. Like, that special. really yeah. is a that – I don't take that lightly at all. Mm -hmm. And so what's a moment with a guest that you've had that has made you feel like, this is why I do this. This is why I come back over and over and over again. Like, Okay, so my first ever contract – I've had so many guests come cruise just to see me. Like, they don't care where they're going in the ports. Um, a shout out to a lot of them. Like, they know who they are. I have them on Facebook and we keep in touch. Um, but there was two Australian ladies, Sharon and Heather, and they came on cruise and I just instantly bonded with them and they became my ship mums. Mm -hmm. So they are known as my ship mums. So they would like message me and go, okay, we're booking our vacation. Where, Where are, are you? <laughs> and then I've also got grandparents, adopted grandparents <laughs> in Port Canaveral. So in Cape Canaveral, when I come in port, they'd be like, okay, what groceries do you need? We'll come pick up with a car. Let us know. Here's our number. Like, and it's just so nice to be adopted into these families yeah. because you are away from your family for a long time and I am a long way away from home. <laughs> um, and it's just been so memorable, like meeting people and making that personal connection with them. And I think that's why I come back because it is part of their vacation. Like they are here to relax, we are here to entertain them, but at the same time, I always try to make a personal connection. No, I love that. And Eden's fantastic at her job and she's well organized and she's happy and like <laughs> I'm the like happy personality part of the job <laughs> is there of, of course and obviously but like also like how seriously you take your job, how well you know your job and what you're doing and um you're going to be really missed on this ship Eden and I know oh, you're going to be missed darn. Um, in the fleet and like you're amazing and good luck with everything thank and thank you. you for being on my show. Yay.